Your return pump is the central component of your aquarium. Without it, you have no circulation. And without circulation, nothing lives. It all starts right there at the core. Terrence here again from Neptune Systems, this time to introduce you to our latest product, the Core. The Core is a return pump that's available in two models, the Core 15 and the Core 20. And while much is the same between the two models, this video is going to focus solely on the Core 20. The Core 20 is a DC motor driven return pump rated at 2,000 gallons per hour. It uses less than 90 watts of power at the wall and has a maximum head height of 21 feet. The core can be used as a submerged or an externally plumbed pump. The core utilizes our Made in the USA pump driver designed with Whisper Drive technology. Whisper Drive makes the core not only powerful and energy efficient, but it's also so quiet you'll have to strain your ears to even hear it. In fact, we challenge you to find a quieter pump out there in this price and flow range. Surprisingly, most DC driven pumps on the market today use a widely available generic chipset to drive their pump. This same chipset is commonly used for drones and RC toys, and it's not specifically designed for use on aquarium pumps. However, our engineering team built the Whisper Drive technology from the ground up to be customized and meet the specific needs placed on saltwater aquarium pumps. Doing this enabled us to fine tune its operation for that purpose and give us a smooth running pump that's super silent and very energy efficient. And can you believe it? The Core 20 doesn't even require an Apex to operate. That's right, this core can be used completely standalone. You can control everything right from the easy to use core driver. Of course, you can also connect the Core 20 to your Apex and unlock even more unique features. And the core will connect and operate with any Apex. This includes the Apex Classic and the Apex Junior. Simply connect the Core 20 driver to any available Aquabus port and plug it in. So if you don't yet have an Apex, the core will be ready for you when you do. Now let's take a look at what you get in the package and how it all goes together. Here's the pump itself. It has a nine foot long cable that attaches with a water resistant interconnect to the core driver. The included 100 watt power supply plugs into the wall and then into the core driver. Oh, and check out this great mount. Two screws and you simply slide it on. No cheap Velcro here. Now, as far as plumbing goes, we've included fittings that give you a couple of different options. First, there's these commonly seen fittings, a one inch slip fitting for the input and a three quarter inch fitting for the output. Simply glue your PVC pipe or barb fittings onto them and you're good to go. These fittings are perfect to use if you're installing the core into an existing aquarium with three quarter inch return plumbing. However, if you're starting fresh or you don't mind doing a bit of plumbing overhaul, you should really use this included inch and a quarter union instead. Let me explain why. Most aquarists don't realize that your return plumbing should be the largest diameter possible. The reason for this is because the larger the pipe diameter is, the lower the amount of resistance in the pipe and fittings, and therefore there's lower head pressure. This ultimately results in a significantly higher flow rate through the pipes. Think about it like this. What would you rather use to drink a McDonald's shake? Their nice fat straws or this little coffee stirrer? I couldn't believe it when my test showed that going from three quarter inch to inch and a quarter plumbing on the average aquarium makes a pump like the core produce more than 50% more flow. Of course, to plumb your output to inch and a quarter, you're gonna need the right fitting and unions are always the best option when possible. So rather than make you go out and purchase it separately, we've actually included that fitting so you can maximize your flow potential right out of the box. Now, once you plumb in your core, you're almost ready to go. As I already mentioned, no apex is necessary to run the Core 20. Just follow the instructions on this easy to understand get started card. All right, now let's cover some of the cool features on this Core 20. First, if you're using it standalone, you'll notice that the up and down buttons change the pump speed in a much finer increment than most pumps out on the market. Basically, each button press is about 6% up or down. Next, let's talk about the IQ level feature. IQ level is how you customize the core for your aquarium. Because of the differences in overflows, number of output nozzles, and different plumbing configurations, the flow level requirements are unique for nearly every aquarium. The IQ level feature on the core memorizes both the maximum flow and the feed level flow rate specific to your needs. The maximum flow level prevents overflowing of your aquarium either inadvertently, during a power on after an outage, or even by the meddling of a family member. 
A proper feed cycle slows your pump down and gives your fish a chance to eat the food without it spilling over the overflows. For the feed mode, the IQ level feature will memorize a setting where the water level drops just enough so it doesn't go over the overflow, but it also won't back siphon all the way to your sump. This keeps the food in the display and also prevents that restart issue where, you know, you get the bubbling and the spurting and, and the bubbles when your pump restarts. Now when the feed mode ends, the core automatically ramps back slowly and calmly to a normal level. Now while many are going to run the core as a standalone pump, we know the vast majority of customers will want to connect it to an Apex and unlock all kinds of other features and capabilities. We built the core from the ground up with this in mind, starting with how easy it is to set it up using our Apex Fusion Cloud interface. Let me show you. Once you plug the core into your Apex via an Aquabus port, you simply select the Tasks icon here and then select Core. Apex Fusion will then present a step-by-step -step wizard that will configure your IQ level settings, what the core should do if it loses communication with the Apex, and mobile alerts if your pump should have an error of any kind. Speaking of failure alerts, a very common occurrence with a return pump is that something foreign either enters or blocks the pump intake. This is the kind of thing you're going to want to know about right away. And with the core, your Apex will send you that mobile alert the moment it happens. The core pump can also vary its flow across the day. And while this is something customers generally wouldn't do with their return pump, it is a great way to program a varied flow pattern if the core is going to be used for a closed loop. Oh, and one other great application for the core is to use it as a dedicated manifold pump. While some may choose to run their return pump and all their equipment on one pump, if possible, I always advise people to run two identical pumps instead. One for the main return and one for the manifold. Not only does this method avoid many operational headaches, but when it comes time to clean your pumps, you can always swap over the manifold pump and keep your tank running while the return pump is being cleaned. So is the Core 20 the right pump for your aquarium? Well, we think so. It's the perfect size for aquariums up to about 200 gallons. If you have a larger aquarium, want more flow, or just want added redundancy, don't buy a bigger pump. Instead, use two core pumps and split the workload. You can plumb them in separately, run them at lower power settings, and still maintain your aquarium's life support if one pump were to fail. Well, that just about sums up all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to find out more about the Core 20, we encourage you to go to our website or go to the community forum. Read what others have to say, ask your questions there, and get feedback from other control freaks just like you. Now, if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so in the future, you'll know the exact moment we release a new video. Well, that's all I got for now, so go enjoy those fish.